Well, as you can tell from the picture in the beginning, my beloved pickup truck is done. I had the best smoke this morning in my strand board. that I have had in a long time and I was reminiscing about it as I was driving down the road and thinking boy that was just a great bowl I gotta smoke another one so I lit my trend board hopped in the truck got on the highway and as you see from the pictures it was in an accident so I was in the hospital all day because I had that neck surgery. I'm pretty sore right now. Um, <clears throat> precautionary because of the rods and pins. So they took me by ambulance. And uh, the truck, you know, at least I'm okay. However, a few minutes ago before I started videoing as I smoke my Boswell's pipe and some fireside I'm running around my house panicking and I realized I left my beloved Svenborg in my pickup truck and it is in some garage right now so hopefully tomorrow morning it will be there when I get get to the garage to clean my truck out as you can see the damage isn't too bad I'll explain it to you but it looks like they're I'm willing to bet they're gonna total it it's a 2000 it's 20 years old I don't think they're gonna want to fix it and the wheels kind of bent in a little bit so I'm pretty sure the axle on the frames busted up pretty good but I was driving down the highway probably about 60 miles per hour I don't know what that is in kilometers. About 75 yards down the road. I see this white car just all of a sudden. Go from the passing lane to the right lane. Without signaling. Sideswiped the car. He slammed on his brakes. Panicked. Obviously. Well, expectedly I should say. Spun around, hit the, me the median barrier, and I reacted by going to the right to get away. I reacted quickly, but speed and reaction, two different things. And I hit him, so I kind of grazed him. Thank God I didn't hit him head on. I probably would have hurt myself pretty bad. And him. And then another vehicle came up from behind and hit him and I think hit my back end. Not worried about the truck, I just want my pipe back. But the guy never stopped. He just kept running. And I'm on the phone with 911 yelling, send the police out, get him on 581. This is the car. This is the year model that it looks like. Gave him a great description. I don't know. But I'm hurting. I am just. I just took some pain meds and stuff. So the old bearded Welshman's good. Okay, I'm back. Phone call. So with my surgery and everything on the scene, I'm I'm I being an EMT. I made sure everybody was okay, and they all seemed okay. Then I called my neurosurgeon because I was scared, afraid of what. I was I was scared because um, I knew once the adrenaline would go down. I'm going to be hurting. Hospital man.
But everyone's okay. Nobody got hurt seriously that I know of. Just makes me angry. When people don't signal, they don't look in their mirrors, and they don't pay attention. Here I am, former EMT, now having to ride in an ambulance because of somebody's stupidity. I had a long day ahead of me. I had things I had to do. Now they ain't gonna get done. This also affects my hobby slash part-time livelihood because I don't have a truck. Can't transport anything. So, wife's on the phone with the insurance company. Hopefully they'll give me a rental truck. A truck to rent instead of. Because I can't do a car. But now I might have to go get another truck. But anyhow. Scary moments. Scary moments. They cause you to reflect. It took me back to the days when I was on the ambulance. Um, made me realize how much I miss it. <laughs> Even though physically I can't do it anymore. But it also makes me glad I'm not in it. Because of what they have to endure nowadays. So anyhow, I'm fine. I'll be fine. I, I don't know if I'll post tomorrow. Because um, I don't know how sore I'm going to be. Usually after an accident, it's like a whiplash injury. It's muscular mostly. No fractures, rods and pins in place. Everything I did a CAT scan. But muscular wise, I'm probably going to be hurting. I'm already hurting. And I'll probably be hurting pretty bad tomorrow. So I'm good. Um. Just be careful, folks, when you drive. Make sure you use your turn signals. Make sure you look at all your mirrors before you maneuver into different lanes. This could have been worse than what it was. And it could have been really bad for me in my situation. My doctors told me if I ever get in a bad car accident, they're scared for me because if my neck gets whipped around, I can, one, be paralyzed, or two, be killed as a result of it. So this could have been really bad. So that's why... I'm extra cautious on the road nowadays more than ever even though I've always been but I don't drive as much as I used to either so I'm gonna enjoy this pipe call it a night light them up <laughs>